my fellow citizens of the 7th universe, my name is Matt Player 2 if you wish to see and welcome back once again to the Dragon Block Siege server. You know what that means, it means there's been a new substantial update to Dragon Block C that I wanted to go check it out for you guys. Now this update, it doesn't provide any new transformations or anything like that, so don't get your hopes up that saying that Super Saiyan 4 is being worked on or anything like that or anything. Currently, um, if I'm going over to uh, Jin's site here, he is actually trying to focus on fusion. Um, he will try to show something in the next couple of weeks revolving around fusion. So get pumped for that because he's actually um, thinking about adding fusion into the game. And a lot of people have been asking for fusion for quite some time. So huzzah. Um, there's probably going to be no... Um, yeah, it's in the next... Wow. Okay. Toggle down ball. Jeez. Um, yeah, but he's going to take a few weeks to look at that, so get pumped for fusion in the future. But anyways, um, this update adds in a few couple, a couple few awesome things. I'm going to read this off from the, um, from the site. Uh, one thing that I am definitely going to be showing off, he has increased the max, um, the max amount of points you can put into a stat. Before, you can only go up to a maximum of 10,000. Like, if we're here right now, it's at 10. Before, it used to be a maximum of 10,000. Now, it's a maximum of 30,000. So, triple the strength. We're going to be showing that off in a, few, in a little bit. Um, also, he has changed a, a couple other things. Like, human and mechian, the, the skills, the upgrade skills, are now um, at the same cost as uh, every other race to get, like, the leveling and everything like that. Make sure it's, like, balanced and fair. Uh, base constitution attribute inc increases... From 200 to 20, um, from 20 to 25. So yeah, I've got more health this time around. You actually get more health. Um, base spirit attribute is now increased from 20 to 30. So you got more, you got more key. Uh, he's at a, um, a, added a change in transformation multiplier into the configs so that you can tell which transformation um, each line is for. So basically, if you wanted to um, bump up the power on one transformation, you could tell exactly what transformation is which. Which I'm actually looking at the configs right now. It's a lot more simple, a lot more easier for you to figure it out yourself. Um, he has also made it so that his missions are more compatible with his Naruto C mod, if you're into that. Um, as well, there is a. Um, he added a weird thing. I wasn't really sure how this implements, but um, he added a thing where if you hold on to bows and you shoot a bow, it uses up key. See? It's using up key for me to shoot my bow. Now, uh, what this does as well is that it takes away 1% of your, um, it takes away 1% of your key, basically, uh, 1% of, like, your key, and uses it towards the bow. So, you could basically, um, if your key is, like, maxed out, your bow will be absolutely insane. I mean, um, it does take away key... And it's up to you if you're actually wanting to use a bow, because in the long run, bows not may, might not be worth it. You might just want to go ahead and punch somebody. But it is a good idea to shoot them from afar. So, there's that. It's kind of cool, kind of interesting that he's added pro all projectiles to this. Sorry, I'm burping over here. But, um, it's a little weird, but I can understand where he's coming from on it. It's kind of interesting. It's like you're putting your key inside of a bow. So, it's kind of interesting. Um, as well, he has made it so that, um, for testing reasons, he's made it so the players will receive reduced damage based on their transformation bonus power. So, if you're, like, in Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, that sort of stuff, you will take less damage because you're bulk. Because you're a freaking bulk. That was, like, how it was in the past, but I guess he's added more to that. Also, he's added a few things where, um, he's also changed the Space Pod interface. Ooh. He's changed to space pod interface. So if we go over here, space pod, space pod, space pod, the interface will look a little different. Yeah, looks a tad bit different. Whoa, it is a tad bit different. All right, destinations. I hit this, right? Select. Okay. Oh, okay. So you can go here, um, bang. So yeah, you hit select and you can choose what place to go. You hit Vegeta and then you're in planet Vegeta now. Which I know I want to. I want destinations back to Earth, please. Thank you. All right, now we're back. Now well, we're actually back in the world. You could stay there if you want to. So yeah, interface is a little bit different. That's kind of cool. As well, um, NPCs have a new key technique. They have a new key technique that um, you won't see. You personally will not see this. 
because it's an invisible key technique. It's like a force push. It's kind of like the, the NPCs have the force. It's called the Kia, um, Kia Aurora, Aura Blast Technique, which basically just pushes you back. Um, players will event, like us, will, we will eventually have this move that we can buy off of the NPCs. But for now, only NPCs have it. Also, there's a new flying technique, which I actually like a lot. Now, if you hold down X, which will bring up your menu here. Um, there's this now. It says on dynamic flying and on simple fly. Simple fly is the, um, simple, actually, it's still on dynamic. Um, simple fly is the flying that you know, where you just kind of like fly around like this pretty simple dynamic flying is a little bit better you can move around with your cursor and the good thing is that it doesn't take it's just like swooping it's just like the swoop technique but it doesn't take away the swoop so i mean your stamina won't be used up if you don't like the swoop that much he's working on it so that um you can go faster in this mode i'm gonna take the space pod but um for now, that is a swoop. It's like that. I actually kind of like that flying because I always thought the flying was a little bit bulky that you need to use shift and jump um, spacebar in order to move around um, altitude wise. So the fact that like you can fly around now and just use your cursor is so much better. I love that. I love that a lot more. So good on you, Jin. You, you did something I really, really like. So anyways, back to like the main point of this video. So we want I want to check out just how strong, how stupidly strong you can be if you max your max your points out to 30,000. So if I go G R M C A set, um, if I set, uh, okay, so if we set set all max, boom, this is everything max, 30,000 everything. All right, so in base form, this is base form. Holy crap! In base form right now, we can dish out 117,000 points of damage just by just walking around. Defense, 162,000. Uh, 160, you have 100, 700, 750,000 health. Your stamina is 158,000. Key power is 241,000. Uh, Max key is almost a million. Running is pretty up and flying is pretty up too. Jesus. So if I run around... And go fly. Yeah, the flying's just kind of the same. Also, I realize how bulky my hand is right now. Oh my god. But yeah, so this is that. If I go up to Flan here, poor Flan. We we haven't seen Flan in a little bit. If we go up to Flan, we are doing a kind of stupid. He's not regening fast enough. Usually, I haven't had it so that Flan does not regen. Fa um, like he. Flan has always regened every single time I punched him. It feels weird now. I can actually, if I stick with this, I can a eventually, eventually, I can beat Flan up. I mean, that's impossible because of how much health I put on him. I think he's got like a 10 billion or something like that. But um, yeah, now if we go into Super Saiyan, because I got Super Saiyan here. Let's see if we go into the Super Saiyan. Oh, that's in, why am I even God form? I don't know. It's a little bit glitch. The interface is still glitchy. He has to fix that a little bit. Here we go. If we go into Super Saiyan 3. There we go. Super Sandwich 3. Oh. Interesting. Huh. Okay. So, here's a little thing. Oh, I just broke it. Here's a little thing. If I'm not mistaken... We are in blue right now. Your power actually doesn't go up anymore. Hmm, huh, interesting. So, if you are max 30,000, you will not go any higher than 30,000, regardless of your transformation. Weird. Hmm. Huh. That's something that I didn't know about this. Alright, so, if you like transforming, don't go up to 30,000. But if you do, um... Let's do, let's get out, let's get out of this form and let's go, um, set to all and we're going to set everything to 10,000. There we go. We're a lot smaller now, but, um, here's 10,000. If I go up to, um, Super Saiyan Blue, that's what I thought. Okay. So three times three, if you're at 10,000, you can make it up to the max just by going blue. You could, you can make it up to the max. If you're just um, if you're just ten thousand, so if you set everything to ten thousand, your your trick your Super Saiyan Blue transformation will bring you up to max without like any problem. Now, uh, if I go out here and I do regular Super Sandwich, 
If I go regular Super Saiyan here, um, this is Super Saiyan three. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Super Saiyan three doesn't bring you up all the way. It brings you up to twenty five thousand now. But if I enable the Kaioken, just going to check Kaioken immediately almost brings it up all the way. So there you go. If you're at ten thousand, you have one Kaioken and you have Super Saiyan three. You're one away. Literally one away from uh, max. So there we go. And then damage wise, we're doing like just a tad bit less. Hey, Flat. So yeah, there you go. It seems like a little weird. I thought I thought it would be that um, when you when you actually go into the. Um, okay. All right. Let me let me sit. There we go. I thought that like if you um, decided to go all the way up max, that your abilities would go even more max. But apparently 30,000 is the limit to everything. So if you like transforming and getting that power boost from transforming, don't do that. You don't even get a defense boost from your uh, transformation because you're already at max. So it's a little unfortunate. But um, if I set everything at max again, this is everything at max. You can walk around. You're basically Broly. Like, look how big I am. I am way... B I am, like, with my hair, I am almost three blocks tall. Compare the Goku. I am taller than Goku with my hair. Haha. <laughs> Sucks, don't it? And then Kami don't even come close to me. So, yeah, there you go. Having everything at 30,000. A little bit OP. Yeah, just a tad bit OP. But you don't get your... You don't get your luscious transformations. I mean... If you, if you wanted to do 30,000, no one will ever mess with you. If, and if somebody does, freaking idiots. Also, I'm just curious, how much... Whoa, a bow does 2,400 now. If you want this, 2,400 for a bow. I mean, this is this is 30,000, but like... Okay, so if I do ultimate bow, I'm just curious. Ultimate bow. Okay, it does do that. All right, so I can do this. Poor Flan over here is just going to get his absolute butt kicked by an ultimate bow. <laughs> um, but, yeah, now he's on fire. Oh, poor Flan. But, uh, yeah, so, 2,400 with a bow, but that's at max. That's how. Mu that's the most it's, you're ever going to get out of a bow with the new DBC um, stuff to it. So, is the bow worth it right now? Eh, I'll let you decide on that. But I think on that note, everybody... I'm going to end this video here, so I do want to say thank you guys for joining once again. I wanted to show off everything just to see how um, how strong you can actually be. It's a little bit insane how strong we can be. Thirty thousand in each uh, in each category is stupidly strong. I mean, one hundred seventeen thousand points of damage—that's the max you can do. That's a little insane, but you're able to get there now. So go ahead. Try it out in your servers. See if you can get up to 30,000 in a public server and see if you can wreck some noobs. Just if just if I'm there, don't do that to me because I'll be upset. But on that note, everybody, I'm going to say thank you guys for joining once again. And I will be seeing you later.